Hi, I'm Anna at the Sewing Studio and in this video I'm going to talk you through our top two machines for sewing leather. Now that doesn't mean that they're just leather specific machines, you can sew lots of other different fabrics with them, but out of the machines that we keep they are the best ones for sewing with leather. So I'll show you which ones they are and talk you through them in more detail. Coming in at number two is the Janome HD9. Now this is a straight stitch only machine, so you're not gonna be doing a zigzag um, or any preset decorative stitches. It's a larger machine, so you've got nine inches of space to the right of the needle, and it's a full metal flatbed. It's got some really useful features on it too. So you've got an automatic thread cutter here. Um, this is your reverse lever. Obviously you'd expect to have that on any machine. You've got speed control here. It's nice and powerful at 95 watts and you can go from 800 stitches per minute up to 1600 stitches per minute. It has an independent bobbin winder, so you can wind a bobbin um, and not need to unthread your needle and a needle up down button. You've also got the big thread spool space here, so you can use the larger cones um, on there and then the thread guide to stop them getting tangled. It has adjustable pre presser foot pressure. I always struggle to say that one. And there's also two different ways of threading this machine, both very simple, but one way is for if you're sewing with medium to lightweight fabrics. And the other way is if you're sewing with the thicker side of fabrics, like I will be in a minute on some leather for you. Uh, you also have a handy needle threader and the bobbin is slightly different from other machines because it loads into the side and that's to do with the power of the machine and it being high speed. Also, I've got one here, the bobbin is bigger than a standard bobbin so you can fit more on there so you don't need to change that as often either. So that's a quick overview of all its features so I'll get it plugged in and set up and show you how it performs on the leather fabric. I have a soft leather with the standard bag lining and bag handle. I've pinned it to keep everything together and popped a leather needle on the machine. It's sewing through it no problem at all. The end result is just my inability to get the fabric flat that's caused a couple of puckers there, but the straps are nice and tight. Moving on to a slightly thicker leather, I've got another hat and bag here that I've cut up. I've taken the handles off so that I can re-sew them on to show you how the machine performs through thicker layers um, in here, because that's got a bit of padding in it. And also there's a, there's a stabiliser on the back of the handle there. So we're going to do the top stitching effect, therefore I've popped a top stitch thread on the machine. When using a thicker thread, you want to slacken off the top tension slightly to stop that getting caught. And stitch length is on number four. Apart from my not so accurate sewing skills going around a corner, um, it's sewn through it really, really easily. Um, obviously there's a bit of manipulation when you're sewing anything bulk to sort of get these as flat as you can to get it seamless around there, but it, it looks nice and it's nice and secure on the fabric. The machine comes with a couple of different feet. You have your straight stitch foot and a rolled hem foot. As you can see, these are a whole sole and ankle and that's down to the speed of the machine. It's just more durable when you're going at that high speed. There's also an adjustable seam guide that screws onto the needle plate and then you can adjust it to your seam and a range of accessories. And in top spot for best leather machine is the Janome HD2200. It's a slightly smaller machine. You've got six inches of space to the right of the needle. However, it doesn't pack on what it's able to do. So for sewing the leather, it's got a nice bit of power about it. It's got a metal body and lots of different stitches on this one. So yes, it's got your straight stitch, but you can then move into zigzag and some decorative effects and things. 
Aside from sewing leather, it will sew other fabrics as well. Um, your stitch selection is here for stretchy fabric, for instance, and obviously your reverse lever. You can change the length and the width of your stitch to suit your requirements. In the top, there is some storage for all the feet that it comes with and a little guide for different sewing applications. Again, see if I can say it right, you've got the ability to change the pressure on the presser foot. <laughs> Uh, there's a needle threader and the bobbin on this one is a drop-in bobbin or top loading you may see it as uh, which is slightly easier to load and you can see when it's running out. You've also got a free arm so this piece comes off so you can do your cuffs and your hems and everything and there's a bit more storage in the front of the machine there. So that's a quick view of its features and we'll get it plugged in and see how it performs. I've got a soft leather, a lining fabric and bag handle. I've joined it together as if I were making a bag. Popped a leather needle on the machine and the machine's handling that fabric and the layers with the handles, no problem at all. And the handles are nice and secure. So I'm going to do the same test as for the other machine. So I've got the other handle to sew on. With this machine, I've popped the zip foot on here just because this part of the bag is really bulky. Now the HD9 has the narrow foot, so that was fine. Um, but it will just help to, for the machine not to get caught on this bulky bit here. So apart from me clearly not being able to sew around the corner very well, <laughs> the machine has handled that really, really well. It's gone through, it's sewn through, and it's lovely and tight in there. The machine comes with a range of presser feet. You have your standard presser foot, a straight stitch foot, zipper or piping foot, overcasting to secure your seams, a blind hem, automatic one-step buttonhole, a separate buttonhole foot for if it's bigger than the automatic one step performs and a fancy stitch foot which is just clear so you can see where you're going when doing the satin stitches and there's also a range of accessories to recap our best sewing machine for sewing leather is the Janome HD2200 closely followed by the HD9 the HD9 is a straight stitch only machine, so you get no other stitch options on there. Whereas the HD2200, so many HDs, has lots of different stitches on there. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that both of them have an extra presser foot lift. So when you're sewing those bulky items, you can lift that presser foot that extra bit. I'll show you a minute. Well, hey, <laughs> and then it just goes back down. The HD9 has your speed control, so you can set it to go on the slower side or the higher side. The HD220 doesn't actually have that, but what it does do is have a high-low setting on the foot pedal, so you can control your speed in that way. This machine comes with a hard cover that slots over the top, so it makes it nice and portable, or if you want to store it away in a cupboard. This one is a bit chunky, a bit heavier, so that just comes with a soft, whoops, dust cover that you pop over the top when you're not using it. Now, although these are our top machines for sewing leather, I cannot stress enough how good they are on different fabrics as well, from finer fabrics, other thick fabrics. If you want to see them in action on some different kind of fabrics, then check out our video and our blog on the best heavy duty machine because it's demonstrated in there for you. I hope that gives you an insight into how both these machines cope with leather fabric. Don't forget, I'm Anna at The Sewing Studio. If you have any questions, anything you want to know, then please just get in touch.